Welcome back to the Garza Gaming Channel. Today we're taking a first GGC exclusive look at Morgan Le Fay in Arena. Uh, as you all know, I was moving from Ohio, uh, from Texas to Ohio, and I'm finally here in my new studio. Now I'm still working out some issues with some light, but I think we got it finally set up uh, and it's working properly. So I'm finally in my in my next studio for at least the next seven or eight months. So we should be able to cut out um, videos a lot better than I have in these last couple of months with various different um, light issues now there's still a little bit of an echo issue that I'm trying to work out but for the most part I think we're back on track so I should be able to do a lot more streams in the future too so we'll, we'll see how that's gonna work out but hey what better a guy to to you know to celebrate my final move and finally get into Ohio than this Morgan Le Fay now I played her a few times uh, you know for about 30 minutes to an hour before I, I started this video just to get a little you know feel for her and I can tell you right now I am very happy for with what I've seen so far uh, I'm telling you what man as you're gonna see in this video she is a beast she is gonna she's gonna be another she's gonna be on that level with the Baron in Merlin for sure coming out of the gate I mean she's just embarrassed Tiamat in my personal opinion Tiamat had a lot of hype you know coming into the um, out of PTS and then when she finally arrived and eh, she was mediocre at best but i'm telling you right now the morgan Le Fay for my play style if you're like me and like range that uh, type fighters uh, i think she's gonna hit that sweet spot man of just really good usability and high damage but hey is she gonna work for us i don't know but we're about to find out let's get into it <laughs> So here we go with Morgan Le Fay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to talk through um, her four different attacks and then I'm going to show you how they work before we actually go into Arena and actually see him going uh, live. So the first um, attack, well first let's talk about her passive, right? So her passive, what she does is the more uh, the Morgan Le Fay's ability, uh, she marks the enemies with using various different attacks. And every time she marks an enemy, she gets a, a, a mark on her sword. So once she gets five uh, marks, uh, what, what happens is well, for every mark she gets, she gets two uh, magical power plus point four um, power per level. So you know, at 20 level, multiply that times point four. But what ends up happening is that once she gets at five marks or five sigils marks on her sword, that buff actually doubles. So she gets double the passive power. Um, so that's pretty uh, that's pretty OP. Additionally, what ends up happening is her ult actually gets cooled down by 10 seconds. So for every five um, sigils she gets on her sword, she gets 10 seconds knocked off her, her um, ult. So that, that could be um, pretty powerful for sure, especially in Arena, right? Okay, so let's start off with her first attack. And her first attack is called Sigil Mastery. And what this does is that Morgan Le Fay summons a, a crashing magical sword and, 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 budded, and budded with the sigil on her choice, of which um, briefly carves into the ground. So pretty much what it is, is it's almost like a um, Tiamat stun, right? So what happens is it's a small AoE where in the center it does more damage than the outer ring. But the cool thing about it is when you hit one, it's almost like switching stances uh, in, uh, per se, uh, like a uh, Merlin. But the difference is you're not really changing stances as much as when you hit the one, you'll get to select one through three of the type of ability you want the one to uh, ignite. So like for instance, you know, so you, you hit the one, you're gonna get a purple, green, and I don't know what the other one's, probably orange or something, right? So what it is is the first one, or your one, is gonna be where when it ignites, it does the damage, but it also has a secondary, um, a secondary effect on a marked target. And what it will do is if you use your one, it actually gives a one second, uh, or actually does extra damage, it combusts. Um, and, uh, and the second one, what it does is end up slowing them. Oh, I'm sorry. The first one combusts and it fears for one second. That's what it was. The second one actually combusts. If you use the green one, combusts and does a slow. It does like a little uh, AOE slow in the small bubble, right? Um, and it slows for four seconds. 30% for four seconds is 35% is, is, uh, slow for four seconds. That's actually pretty powerful. And then the third one... Um, uh, what it does is it ignites and then it causes it does like a little um, miniature 
um, I guess, uh, minion that looks just like her. Almost like the Morgan when she throws her thing forward. Or, or no, even better, the Monkey King. When he goes up and sends up his decoy, it's pretty much along the same lines. The only problem is that decoy is not, seems like it's not going to be as powerful as the Monkey King, right? Um, it actually, um, I think, hits for anywhere between... I don't know, probably between 40 and 80 uh, uh, points of damage per tick or per hit, depending on your attack power. Um, but that could be pretty nice. It's like giving getting a dot, pretty much. Uh, a cool uh, graphic type dot is pretty much what it's going to come out to. So let's test it out. Let's test out number one. So this is what I was talking about the ring. You see how you have the uh, the small ring in the middle. It's like Tiamat stun. Anything within that smaller ring is going to take more damage. And then the outer ring that will take less damage. But as you see, my one through three, you have an uh, like a reddish, red, green, and purple. So the red is going to be that one second stun. So you'll get the damage, and then you, and then you, I mean that fear. So he gets, they said damage, and then he gets feared for one second. Okay. So then the second one, to do the second one, you hit two before you click on your mouse or your control pad. And you see how it turned green, right? So that, you, that means your two is active. So if you want a three, you know, turns purple, one red. So for the three, it drops that orb, does the damage, and then it does that orb where it's slowing. You see how it has that little belt, green belt around him? It shows that he's being slowed for four seconds uh, at 35% slow. So that's pretty <laughs> intense. Uh, that will definitely help to make some really good combos and some attacks with your party. Um, the third one is where she does damage, but also does like a little decoy that does, you know, like three or four hits. Five, yeah, about four hits before uh, it disappears. So it's almost like doing a four tick dot, more or less. So that's that's her first attack. That's called Sigil Mastery. Now her second attack, uh, Dragon Flight, it's a two stage attack, right? So what happens is uh, Morgan Le Fay summons a dragon that appears, which does burst damage. So there's a box that's a rectangle, and then a box that's a rectangle going this way. It's almost like an inverted T, right? So the initial damage is done within that targeting box, as you're going to see here shortly. And what that does, it does a knock up plus damage to enemies within that box. Uh, secondary, as soon as that knockup is over, then the dragon goes flying forward and does additional damage. But this time, if it hits somebody, it does the knock back. So that no knocks them out forward. So the initial AoE damage is going to uh, be pretty decent. And then you're going to have that, that secondary damage from that dragon. So let's check this one out. Uh, as you can see, this is exactly what I was talking about. See how it's like, it's like an inverted T. So you got your, your, and you can hit more than one target. So we can hit both of these. Does the damage. And then has that one knock up. We'll wait for it again. And this time we'll do it at a range. So say you can't get close up, you can still take advantage. Hit that damage, but remember it's going to knock them back. Uh, that could be very beneficial, not just for killing, you know, getting the killing blow on an enemy. But that could also help out if your teammate is running for their life. Um, and somebody's chasing them down that can really be used to, to help them out to save their lives really so you knock back the enemy further back while they're chasing them uh, that could be used for that I mean they could be used for being behind the enemy line and push them forward into our um, further into our side uh, almost like we do with some of the guardians right like the Hercules type move so it could be used for that too so it looks like it's gonna be pretty powerful too and then the third one's called the shroud of fire and what ends up happening with this one is the Morgan dons or sends forth a cloak of wildfire that does that damages the enemies, you know, and it stops at gods. Uh, so it sounds like it would probably go through minions and stop at a gods. Uh, and then what happens on expiration, uh, the the thing explodes. So once it hits, it explodes and it leaves a debuff that pretty much does a tick for four seconds. Now what makes this uh, unique is when you use this, the Morgan's going to get a speed buff. But better yet, uh, what ends up happening is when an enemy is, seems like my reading this, when an enemy gets dotted for four seconds, if they try to do like Cupid dash or, more, or a, a Nox dash, if anybody tries to use a movement enhancing effect, they actually take an addition uh, burst of damage. Uh, so that's going to be pretty interesting. I don't think there's another god out there that has any type of attack like that. So yeah, so you get you get the initial damage, you get tick damage, and then you get that bonus damage. Plus you're going to end up getting movement speed anywhere between 16% to 24%. And, and the buff lasts for 4 seconds. So that's, that's going to be pretty good. That's a good escape, if anything.
um, or throw that on there and escape and they try to chase you they actually take damage that could be pretty uh, substantial so let's check it out let's check it out uh, so hit this guy with it so it looks like it's straight line or in let's see how this works okay there he goes yeah so it looks like it's pretty much a straight up attack let me do it one more time I want to see how my speed goes up it helps if I hit okay 506 yeah so it did go up for a good couple seconds or four seconds let me do it one more time just to double check i want to see if it actually shoots. The burning shroud. yeah there you go two three two one boom yeah so that's pretty significant that's pretty that's gonna make for some really good <laughs> really good combo especially for those really slippery guys like a cupid that always gets away with that one health or that nox that gets away with that one health that's really going to be very beneficial for stopping that craziness okay so then we move into consuming power or her ult now this one kind of reminds me of a uh, kind of like a Tiamat and a uh, Freya type alt, right? So what ends up happening is the Morgan rises up into the air, consuming the marks on her enemies in front of her, dealing damage and empowering her next strikes. So she sucks in the marks, buff, buffs herself, and then she she strikes for a, a short duration. After the Morgan and Freya can fire up three, so she fires three devastating attacks so you have three kind of freya type attacks where she swings her sword and, and and throws some type of fireball from her sword right um and the cool part about that is uh it says here that uh, dealing damage and providing missing health per enemy god hit so for every guy that you hit it's almost like a lifesteal per se or a heal that you get a percentage heal for every hit, god that you hit so that's pretty cool uh, it says that the initial marks consume increase the width of the energy projectiles too. So I guess the the, the more marks you get, the, the wider the attack's going to be. So you might be able to hit multiple um, targets. So that's pretty cool. If the, if the projectile's uh, wide enough and there's enough people within the proximity of it. Or, or it makes it even easier to hit a target if they're running. You know, you don't have to be as precise like in, uh, like you would with, um, like you say, a Neath or an AMC or any other hunter. You know, you always have to be precise. So you're going to get that little... You know, you can have left, right, and extended um, targeting, left and right. Okay. Uh, and the buff that uh, lasts for four seconds. So, hey, let's check that out. It sounds pretty OP, to tell you the truth. So it has, it looks like it has an initial cone attack. Face the wrath of a sorceress scorned. Yep, it's just, like I said, it's almost like a Freya. So if you're not going as high in the air, you're kind of like hovering. Oh, that's what it reminds me of. Let me go ahead and reset this and try it again. But I'll tell you what, man. So far, this god is looking pretty OP, man. I, and why, what is this fan? Let me read this again. Oh, the fan is the suck in the marks. That's what it is. So the suck in the marks. You suck in the marks that within that fan, and then you do your damage like that. So what you want to end up doing is when you go to do your ult, try to get as many... If, um, enemies as you can within that fan so you can grab multiple marks so that's what it looks like okay so let, now that we talked about the actual attacks let's see some possible combos. oh wow this oh the dot 49 hit i mean don't worry about the build up i'm still working on the build on her but uh i can tell you right now that uh <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is going to be a powerful god. Uh, it's going to be another one of those. I think this is going to be more in line with a initial um, Baron or Merlin type damage, to tell you the truth. I can see her get nerfed really quick. Because I'm telling you right now, she feels very fluid. I mean, her, her ults, I mean her attacks, they feel like they work very well together. I mean, we're talking burst damage of anywhere between 100 to 1500 in just one swoop of your attacks, mid to late game, easy. So, <laughs> okay, so it is what it is. So this, you know what? Now that we got a, a small idea of what these different attacks are and we've seen it here, let's take it to the arena and see how they work in action. So let's get to the arena.
So here we go with Morgan Le Fay. But if you need the channel, please subscribe and turn on those notifications. We tend to put our videos every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, but sometimes we throw our videos throughout the week. So make sure you have those notifications turned on so you get notified that we do. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget we have almost 300 videos just like this one in our video library. I put a link to that in the description of this video. And if you like streams, guess what? We now have a stream deck on our channel too. And I put a link to all our past streams in the description of this video. And you're tired of playing with all these random pugs? Hey, come join us in Discord. I put an invite in the description of any of our videos. Not. Okay, so here we go with Morgan Le Fay in our first ever arena battle, right? So you're getting it here, GC exclusive. Now keep in mind we're playing against easy bots on a on the test server, right? So these are easy bots. Don't worry about how much damage she does. Don't worry about how many kills we get. All of this is is just to show her various different mechanics and how they work and and, and you know and how they uh, mesh together. That's the only thing I'm worried about right now. I don't, it's not about kills. It's not about nothing like that. We're going against easy bots. Keep that in mind. Uh, the whole point of this video is just to see her uh, different attacks in action. That's it. Uh, and see how she feels. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, goodness. And I can tell you right out of the get-go that she feels pretty freaking powerful. <laughs> pretty powerful. And I don't even know why I was even getting that buff, man. <laughs> it is what it is. Let me go back and give me some boots. I can't tell you that so far she does feel really good. Uh, she's going to be way better than, if, in my personal opinion, just from my initial assessment, not even really playing yet, she's going to be way better than Tiamat when, when she came out. I mean, the potential for her combos is just ridiculous. Nice. Nice. Those are the goals. Oh, one, two. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. Now the red, remember, is going to do initial damage in, in a, and it's going to end up doing a. It's going to end up doing a uh, one second fear. So what we're going to do is I'm going to try her decoy. See how that comes out. Nice. Lock him back. Boom. Nice. Slow him. It gives me time to get the heck out of dodge. Because he's still slowed. <laughs> That's awesome. That is awesome. That's really going to come in handy. Especially imagine doing that slow with an Ares type uh, ult. Or maybe even a Zeus ult combo. That's going to be pretty powerful, man. That's going to be pretty powerful. Still see the fear. Boom. See ya. Or dragon attack. Wow, this, she's just so powerful, dude. She is just so powerful. Wow, this is just insane. Nice. Very nice. Now, as you can see, her basic attack is very, very similar to Freya's. And that's why I really like. So some people, I can see some people probably sticking rings on her uh, as, as part of a build. I can see rings being used on her. Ah, I can get to him. Uh -oh. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. Let me go back and get some items. Oh man, that way I can get some, <laughs> uh, some more mana. I can tell you that I'm gonna enjoy playing her. Uh, from my playstyle, I can tell you already that she feels way better than the last probably three or four guards that came out. Uh, Tiamat, uh, Gilgamesh, you know, any of those guys. I can tell you right out of the get go that I, I she feels a lot better to me. Because as you guys know, I like melee types anyway. But her kit is just ridiculous. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, that's just insane. Nice. 
Living shroud. Immortal. Oh, mystery. All right. Triple okay. Kill. Yeah. And that slow saved our person. Nice. Very nice. Oh man, this god is gonna be devastating in arena for sure. Oh, I can definitely see me playing this one for sure. Uh, when she first comes out, I really want to test her out. <laughs> I think she's gonna be a beast in arena. I, mean, I, wasn't, I wasn't too excited about Tiamat or Gilgamesh, but with her, I think she's gonna be more my style. Okay, so you can you can hit more than one person with your ult, so that's cool. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's do her. Her decoy. Nice. Oh man. Yes, up here. The dragon. Oh man, I don't, don't get me wrong, these are easy bots. Keep in mind, they're easy bots. But as you can see, the combination of damage that she can do and that burst damage in such a short period of time is just ridiculous, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, she's gonna be very OP. I, I am very much liking what I'm seeing, so that's good. Let's go see what we can do a little bit more combo searching here. Let me start with a slow and then go into a 3 2. See how that works out. Slow, 3 2. Nice. Oh. Very nice. One, three, and then one. I mean, two, three, one. Slow. Oh, I didn't go off. They're on me. Knock them back. Nice. So the 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 um the knockback works even if they're in your face. So that'd be really powerful. They have like right there where you have an assassin like all up in your grill. They to knock them back. Oh wow. <laughs> Man, that is just nasty. Okay, so another thing to keep in mind too is that the dot on her three kind of works like an AMC dot, um, the B guys dot. So, and the reason I say that is the fact that is is when you use it, what ends up happening is the for every basic attack that you land, it extends the dot in slide. So as long as you're hitting, you, you hit that three. As long as you're hitting people with that. With your base, it, it refreshes the, the timer on it. So keep that in mind. So it almost looks like the AMC's um, uh, bees, the way they call it, the honey attack, or the screaming bees, or the, the bee hive they throws at you. Swarm of bees. All right. Let's, let's test it out. Let's test it out. And we can get some without killing. <laughs> Wow, that's just nasty. Nice. An ally has been slain. Wow. <laughs> and the cool thing about it is a lot of these attacks are AoE-ish in nature. Wow, that's all I can say is wow. I think you guys are gonna love uh, Morgan Le Fay, man. I think she, she's gonna be very a very fresh breath in arena. I don't think we've seen a god like this in a long time. I'm really excited to see this for, and I haven't been excited for a god since Merlin. So uh, I think I'm. I think this is gonna work out really, really well.
Again, don't worry about kills and stuff like that. We we're playing easy bots, so don't don't worry about that. The whole point of this was to see her various different attacks and see how her combos work and see how fluid she is. And I can tell you right now, she's going to be a beast in Arena. So hey, are you looking forward to Morgan Le Fay? And so hey, put your comments in 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 the uh, put comments in the comments down below. <laughs> I love to hear what you got your feedback on her. You know, what do you think? You think she's going to be OP? You think she's going to be another dud like Tiamat? I personally think Tiamat was a dud. You know, she had a lot of hype, and then when she she came out she wasn't as powerful as i thought but i can tell you right now there's going to be a hype train for morgan lefay and she's going to be able to back it up I, there's no doubt in my mind i'm telling you man she just felt really really well i felt you know like she was made for my play style so i'm really looking forward to her so hey again for all you that are new to the channel please subscribe i'm dark garza yo gmgc see you next time